All right, hello everybody and welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of our Keeper Occultist run in Monster Sanctuary. All righty. Let's get right down to it. I realized at the end of the last session that I forgot something that I explicitly traveled across the entire map in order to get. So before we continue deeper into uh, the stronghold, we are going to make a quick trip back up. Uh, and I might need a little bit of flight for this. I know, I know we're ditching Will, um, but he'll be okay. And I do really want to get that interesting chest that we saw. Oh, shoot, shoot. There's got to be an easier way out of here. All right, so the chest was... I think it was this way. We might have to wander around for a minute until we find it, but that is absolutely fine. We also recently cleared out all of the monsters around here, so don't think we have, oh shoot, anything to worry about except my, as usual, abysmal parkour. Oh, hey guys, excuse me, just passing through. Can I get by? Can I get by without f fighting? I don't think so. Maybe if I'm really observant. Yeah, okay, there we go. Was it up here? I remember it was at the top of one of the tall shafts. Yes, this, this could be it. Nope, this is not it. Woo! Okay. Oh, and then, yeah, okay. And this was the, um, the doors. <laughs> Come on, let me through. I've already gotten everything there is to get here. All right. Okay, now we're up. Back where we were. Hmm. Is it this shaft? I because rem I remember we got we got the blue uh, the we got uh, blueberry jelly the the ice blob specifically for a an ice switch that we found. But I have since forgotten where exactly that switch was. there and that leaves the stronghold entirely hmm perhaps I should have searched for this off stream oh well we'll keep climbing until we find it and then we can go back and help will sorry will it just it was such a cool looking chest I gotta know what's in it this room could be promising there. Up here. No. Oh, getting a little better at uh, jumping around. Okay, so it's not that. Oh, is it that little room up here? No. There are so many nooks and crannies in this particular area. All right, this is a tall shaft. It could be up here. Or not. Oh, that's right, we're back at the top of the stronghold now. 
Nothing useful down that way. Just a jail. Ah, I think I went up the wrong way. I think it was the more direct up shaft that would have taken us there. So let's try that. And if I can't find it, we'll save it for later and get back to business. Namely, investigating the Stronghold Library back down in the sewers. Not through here, for sure. Oh, hey, that's new. Missed that the first time. Sweet. This is, no, we've, we've definitely explored this. This is, yeah, okay. Yeah. Near, near. I could have sworn. Mm, down here? No, I appear to have lost track entirely of the mystery thing. I have one more theory about where it might be. So let's really quickly check that since it's right over here. Whoops. Oh, this is not one of the rooms that you can jump down to as a shortcut. Great. Okay. Quickly over here. I can't wait for us to uh, acquire faster movement in the form of a mount. Ah, just barely sneak by underneath there. Are you down here, perhaps? Oh. Yes, yes, wait, this is it. Okay, sweet. I remember the blah block. Because we also went to ask Old Buren about that, and he had nothing useful to say. All right. All right, Blueberry. Show us your power. Dungeon Explorer, the outfit of someone who frequently delves into the dangerous and unknown corners of our world. We got a new outfit. That's awesome. We'll have to check that out once we get back to the sanctuary. All right. So that, I guess that tells us for the future, those purplish chests are outfit chests. So they'll probably have clothing in them, which is good to know because I am very interested in collecting some cool outfits. Although the, you know, the as I mentioned, ah, shoot. Damn it. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I personally like the, the default outfit so much. I don't know how likely I am to change it, but we'll see. I can be convinced. Alright, this time let's not flub the jumps. Alright. So, somewhere in this area below is where the Stronghold's library is located. I'm not sure how much further we have to go. I get the sense Will and I are, are delving here a little bit into poorly mapped territory. Which is interesting, because, I mean, you would think that it, having a secret library, people would actually generally visit it and know how to get to it and stuff. But seeing as it's hidden in the sewers, I don't know, that just makes me particularly excited, because people love hiding mysterious occult things in the dark and under 
ground and near unpleasant things. All right. We need wind and magic to get through here. So, looks like Kelpie, Gaze, and Falchon. We'll start with Apprentice. Yeah, and then uh, Thunderstorm. Let's get some debuffs. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, okay, beautiful, beautiful. And then you, my friend, should trigger all of those shocks at once. That is such a fun ability. That's so much fun. All right, they've got their apprentice up. That hurts. That really hurts. Poor Gaze is never going to be that tough. They're just, they're just a fragile monster. I don't have poison stacking and they're resistant to this, so I think I'm just gonna go for Whirlwind. Yeah. And then Thunderstorm. Oh, right, the Cleanse. Beautiful, beautiful. And then, okay, so we can Lightning Slash. Honestly, the middle Toxicus is so low. I think I'm gonna hit here with Lightning Slash and just see if the damage over time and the shock and everything can do it. Yes, it absolutely can, fabulous. All right, now we go for the throat, finish this thing off before it hurts. Poor gaze anymore. This should be an easy one hit. That is a lot of misses. Does it, it how? Does it have evasion? Oh, Whirlwind can't be dodged, though, so that's... There we go. Cleaning up. Beautifully done, everyone. And we got some corn from the weird floating seahorses and the occult eyeball. I will never question loot. It will never make sense. Okay, so... Man, where are we, where are we going with this? I think I mentioned wanting Healing Wave, because I got both of these, so I should probably also grab Healing Wave. Yeah, and also because Supply. Of the three, though, is Healing Wave really the best I can do? I mean, I have a guaranteed Mass Attack, Earth, and then I have a guaranteed um, Single Target Earth Attack, but I don't have a Wind Attack if I go Life Wave. Ah, oh, man, that's tough. I think I want to go Whirlwind, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, especially with Toxin and Armor Shred. I think I might... For now, at least. I mean, if I have extra later, I can always grab Healing Wave, but I think I want Whirlwind. At the end of the day, you gotta be able to deal damage. Oh wow, okay, that was not nearly as far away as I thought it might be. Look at all these books! They do not look like they're in great condition, I'll be honest with you. Man, people should really respect their... Oh, so many useless books. Where is that book of history? That strange person wears the same kind of clothes as the alchemist we saw in the blue caves. Okay, leap of logic here. Maybe they're an alchemist. I sense that this person didn't come here with good intentions. I'm sorry, are you telepathic and you didn't tell me? This is incredibly useful. You should inform me sooner. Or I guess empathic would be more accurate here. But still, like, I mean, we're a team. Share these abilities with me, my dude. We might have to fight his team of monsters to apprehend him. In that case, the same rules apply as for regular keeper duels, except there's more on the line than usual. Oh, what a surprise, a keeper of monsters. Hey, that wouldn't happen to be a spectral familiar, would it? What if I am a spectral familiar? How marvelous! Not only a keeper of monsters, but a keeper of a spectral familiar as well. Oh my. This one seems really strange. I have a bad feeling. Hey, well, 
Wow, I didn't expect the library to be this big and the books are in pretty good quality too. Are we looking at the same books? I, I cannot tell what that is on them, but it looks gross and like they have not been well maintained. But wait, that's another one of the alchemists. Yes, thank, welcome to the party. Oh, what a blessed day. We came in search of old books and instead we found two keepers of spectral familiars. We? What is that supposed to mean? That he has a friend. Hey, Valalar, what's happening in here? Are we having a party? Not as such, Chimes. Even though there might be cause for celebration very soon. Yeah, I see. Two spectral keepers, huh? The master will be quite pleased with us. Ha 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 ha. These two are both really creepy. We should be careful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Toad Obvious. Hey, what do you people want? We're not afraid of you. That's good. It gives us a surprise advantage. You take care of the other one, Valalar. I want this one. These guys are getting kind of menacing for this uh, chill game. Looks like it's time to fight. We shouldn't lose this one. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm I'm adequately frightened of them too. We are not we are slightly underleveled, but not terribly. Um Okay. How do we want to handle this? I think we go debuff team. And then if things go badly, we bring out lamp. So I think Eon Gaze Falchon. We're gonna we're gonna try burning it first, and then we'll go tanky if if it turns out we really need it. Okay. I also didn't I did not send out anyone with a buff. That is on me. Okay. Slime shot, poison is effective. Lightning is not, unfortunately, so I'll be forced to use spore. I have not seen that glow fly before in this run. I remember the Nightwing, we saw those briefly. I think we focus the Monk. Poison and armor break. And then we just start smacking. Oh, oh right, shoot! Not We don't get three actions on the first turn. Okay, so the Glowfly is supporting. That hurts, but not enough for me to be frightened of it. Okay, honestly, we're just gonna go for debuffs as much as possible, also to cleanse, if we can, which I, that's not enough at all. Um, Okay. Uh, I guess we go for Arcane Bolt. Good. Okay, good, good. The damage over time is helping. Ah, no. Okay. I'm not changing targets. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Um... I'm not changing targets, we are still focusing the monk. Good, good. Bring some of the debuffs back. It doesn't have armor break anymore, so actually I should probably have done this first. Actually, I should probably shield myself. Yeah. We want you to stay in the fight, please. Okay. And then I guess we just arcane bolt. Good, good. Damage over time is our friend. The stupid glo the glowfly is the next target. We are for sure killing that thing next. Okay. Um, yeah. Acid rain, we want it down this turn. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, I could focus with spore. I might have to. I think I'll I think I'll shield and then we'll use spore as a 
Yeah, okay. And then we'll use Spore as a, a full-on attack. And I think this might bring us within range her damage over time to kill. Yeah, okay, okay, nice, nice. We need to kill that buff bot ASAP. Alright, we're building up a lot of charge stacks, which is good for the next time we attack with Falchon. But I want to make that count. Alright, we're going for Acid Rain on the... the Glowfly. Yes, clear those buffs, make it weaker. Thunderstorm on everyone, just spread debuffs as much as humanly possible, or inhumanly possible as the case may be. I guess Arcane Bolt? Might as well spend some charge stacks, I guess. Land as much of a hit as we can, given the circumstances. Good, good. Good protect. That's less good. But we have super regen right now, so... Alright, how many debuffs we got going? Who needs to get cleaned? Alright, we're gonna clean you. You are very fragile. We will thunderstorm. Try and get rid of their buffs. Oh, poison. Good, good. Damage over time. Very nice. I could protect. I think we just start shooting. We need to also get burn on the Glowfly and it'll go down. Hang in there, hang in there. Come on, hang in there. Okay, all right, everyone's still up. Ooh, narrowly, narrowly up. All right, I think <clears throat> we may have to accept some losses here. And just try and take one out. How much damage will Spore deal? Alright. So we Arcane Bolt. For combo. We Slime Shot for combo. And then we Spore and hope we eliminate... Yeah, okay, 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 we're good. So, looking at his back line, that's his main support down. I, I say, ironically as Katzerker uses support. Unfortunately, there goes one of our big debuffers. Sorry, Eon. You fought bravely. Oh, yikes, that's so much damage. Okay. I think we switch to Lamp, and we start cheesing. Sustain up. Ugh, who to pick? Uh, let's go for the Mad-Eye. We have more direct damage against them. Okay. Can do that much. Thunderstorm is worth it, hopefully for the debuffs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, chill on Katzerker is really good. Okay, and they have decided to focus on Lamp for some reason. Ah! That reason being that they can very nearly kill Lamp. Good to know. Uh, let's get, let's set people on fire. Get some of that shield going, get some burn damage up. Oh wow, we can actually, we can really hurt the Nightwing. Okay, so we'll, we'll Arcane Bolt. We can take this thing down. Either Thunderstorm or... Yeah, just, just going for the Ignite. 
I should maybe have spread out the burn, but also just the at this point, the idea of actually taking one of them down is really appealing to me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, wow, okay, you hung in there. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we might be in we might be in trouble. <laughs> all right. Um All right. We are for sure in trouble here. That is okay. We're going to we're going to pull this off. I have time for a buff. Do I go spell shield? Or safe cast. I'll do safe cast. Honestly, we'll do both. Can you finish this? With with the shock, I feel like you can. Okay, well, and the fire. Good, good, good. This is gonna be tight. Oh, and you're weak to electricity. No. Oh no. We have once again taken long enough for infinity to come into play. They're still all resistant to, to wind. All right, I guess we're just using arcane bolt. No more debuffs. Let's let's eliminate the mad eye. Yeah. We'll slime volley, see if we can... I guess two of them already are poisoned. But we poisoned the last one, so that's that's good. Mud cannon is super effective. So we'll use that. We're actually closest on the cat zerker, so let's take that thing down. With the boosted poison damage, maybe? Nope. Okay. Taunt. That's a lot of buffs that you just suddenly applied to yourself. Okay, good thing we're taking that thing out. Okay. Arcane Bolt. Focus. So, Whirlwind. And then Mud Cannon. It won't kill, but it's close. Now we just have to survive. I think we have this. I think we do. Okay, so we, we Arcane Bolt for a combo. Oh, those charge stacks. We Whirlwind to eliminate the Mad-Eye. <laughs> As is appropriate, our best attack is just throwing lore at them. Can you imagine being part of this ancient order of alchemists and you see the two of the four supposedly most powerful monsters in the sanctuary roll up to fight you and their keeper just... Well, at least one of them. Their keeper just throws it at them. This will never stop being funny to me. I'm going to make this joke multiple times every stream because it entertains me that much. I'm so sorry. All right. We got you. We got we got Valalar. Whew. First keeper battle. Success. I could have strategized better for sure, but we got there. Hmm. Looks like I was getting ahead of myself. I won't be so careless next time. Yeah, that's right. You run. Oh, but it looks like Chimes was more successful than me. P perhaps there can be a celebration after all. What? Enjoy your books. We have something more valuable than this whole library. What? That was odd. We should check on Will. Will. Where? Where is she, Will? I can't believe this. How could it, this happen? How could they do this? I've never heard about something like this happening. I think something really wrong happened. Yeah, no shit. His monsters were just too powerful. I lost against him, but I don't understand what happened afterwards. 
It just makes no sense, no matter how many times I go over it in my head. My familiar is gone. She just disappeared after I lost the battle. My own father gave me my familiar. I've brought shame on my entire family. Yeah, a little bit. We understand your sorrow, Will, but your familiar can't be gone forever. We're immortal, after all. Um, Lord. I mean, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. But, like, are you immortal as in you don't age? Or are you immortal as in you literally cannot be destroyed? Because, once again, that is information I should know. Nothing can really harm us. Yeah, okay. See, that's news. Wolf will be fine. I can promise you that. All of us familiars have been alive for longer than we can even remember. You're right. Thank you. And don't forget that we came here for a reason. We can't let it be in vain because of this loss. Yes, the library. That's at least something, isn't it? Maybe it's not so bad. Whatever happened, I have to find a way to reverse it. We will find it together. If they attack one of us, they attack all of us. Right elsewhere? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. As long as I get to look at cool old books. Thank you. That's good to know, but I know my strengths and research is what I'm best at. So I'll be sifting through these books if it's all right with you. It'll give me time to think. Meet me back at the regular library in the Keeper's Stronghold later. I hope that he'll be all right. It must be devastating for him. But it is really concerning that they're able to do this sort of thing. I'm less worried about us familiars and more worried about the sanctuary itself. Who knows what the alchemists are planning? We should meet up with Will, with Will at the library in the Keeper's Stronghold later. You doing okay, buddy? I'll be all right. I just need some time to calm down and think. It must be some kind of alchemy magic that's unknown to us. Somewhere in here, there must be an answer to our questions. And I'll never forget that alchemist's names, Chimes. He must have my familiar now. So they were able to, oh, I can't go through there yet. They were able to take his, like rebind Will's familiar to themselves. That's a little, that's a little unsettling. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, oh, I want to explore all these books, but now I feel like I have to go be responsible and go take care of business and help and stuff. Okay. Um. Well. That was unfortunate. So, let's go see what we can do about it. Reminding, according to Old Buren, the frozen oracle is hidden beneath the frozen lake at the west end of Snowy Peaks. If we prove ourselves worthy, the frozen oracle might grant us some valuable knowledge. So maybe we go back to the frozen peaks and we try and figure out if uh, we try and ask if the oracle can help us figure out what's going on and maybe figure out how to save um, the familiar. Um, let's grab... Okay, we'll upgrade our tackle. We've been using it a lot. Lamp, 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 lamp. Giving you Fireball Storm, right? Yeah. Uh, honestly, actually, why? It's 80% more damage, but two, per two fewer hits. When am I ever going to use Lamp as the final hit? I even have combo initiator. I think I just take ignite and let our I ignite and arcane bolt coexist. I mean, I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's fine. All right, Falshan. What can I do with you? With a drunken sailor, what can I do? I guess I can upgrade Protect. Hybrid Mastery is also really good, especially when I get better equipment later. I'll focus on abilities for now. We'll upgrade Protect. You need more mana, though. Alright, we're swapping this for something that gives you mana. A lot of mana, ideally. Mana 18, but it's also a unique. We're doing that. And we'll upgrade it once we get home. Okay, if I can get home. There we go. Um, is it faster to just go up or to go to the teleporter stone? We'll go to the teleporter.
also musing on the fact that we were fairly evenly matched with our opponent in that last keeper duel, I'm thinking maybe we take a minute to do battle with the, the fellow up here. First, first. First we'll, we'll, oh hey, well, you're back already? Okay, I'll be with you in a minute. Hey, what goes better with a new outfit than a new name? Okay, so this is something that I wanted to do. I sort of realized during last session that I'm not really playing myself here. I'm playing, I am playing a character. So I figured I would change my name to something uh, to, to fit our character. And I've decided on Ashley, Keeper Occultist Ashley, um, because for a couple reasons. First of all, since this is Keeper Occultist, since this is somewhere else, um, I wanted to make a reference to one of the weird fiction writers from the early 20th century, uh, in this case, Clark Ashton Smith, uh, who wrote stories about, uh, in particular, Hyperborea, a, a, an ancient magical world, uh, basically sort of out of time on Earth, which feels appropriate for Sanctuary. Uh, and also because Ashley itself is an Anglo-Saxon me name, meaning dweller near the ash tree meadow. And ash trees are super popular in mythology and witchcraft and stuff. Um, Yggdrasil, the world tree of Norse mythology, is an ash tree. Three of the five guardian trees of Ireland are. Uh, it's used a lot in English folk magic. So basically, uh, and also it's gender neutral. Um, which is useful since we can just swap our, our gender presentation whenever we want in this game. Uh, so, I think this is, this is how we'll go for, for the rest of this run. This is how we'll be remembered. Ma probably as Mad, Mad Keeper. <laughs> Mad Keeper, Ashley. Since we are hanging out with creepy things like this floating eye. Yeah, there we are. Alright, now let's check out our new outfit. Okay. Oh, it's got like a like a shovel. Interesting. Kind of like this green one. It's not bad. And this the this one has like a, a a bed roll or something on the back. Interesting. These are fun. <clears throat> this one has the same color palette as the the one where we were wearing before. That's kind of fun. Okay. Um, we could also we could also switch it up and go green. I like the 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 feminine one better than the masculine one in this case. Ah, uh, but it's hard to it's hard to say no to the original. <clears throat> mm. We can change up the color a bit though. We'll we'll go we'll go uh, we'll we'll shake it up a little bit with a, a different coloration of our old outfit. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, all right, now that we've uh, done a little a little spa time to uh, again, will I'll be I'll be with you in a second. Give me a second uh, to wind down. I think we need to uh, practice because we could have done a lot better in that fight. Um, so I think we should go challenge the duel master again, since we've ranked up. I heard about what happened to Will's familiar. I hope that he will recover from this loss. It's really unsettling. What is happening to our sanctuary? Dude, I do I'm a child. You are asking the wrong person. All right. You challenge your teacher to a duel very well then. We've completed the novice, but we recently ranked up to Seeker, so we've got a new one available. Let's see what we can do about it. All right. I think we start with debuffs again. But honestly, a little tankiness couldn't hurt. Uh, we'll get safe cast up, and then lore can be a combined DPS and then life wave in emergencies. Um, 
Let's just start with Thunderstorm. No debuffs? Really? Not a, not a single trigger of Shock, which is a 50% chance on all hits, and not any any triggers of, of Proliferate or... Not Proliferate, whatever the one that does random debuffs is. That was very disappointing. I'm, I'm disappointed. How are we on debuffs? We're fine. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I am worried most about the Grummy, so we are going to Armor Break. Something tells me I should be worried about the Druid Oak, too, though. It's fine. We'll deal with that. We'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Please. Please. Any There. Okay. See, that's much more like it. Mud Cannon. Tackle. Uh, the Nightwing is really fragile. But I'm, again, I'm, I'm more concerned about the Grummy. Good. We got burn on it. That's useful. Weakness, got cleansing my buffs, poison. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh boy, they have some serious mass attacks this time. Okay, all right. Okay, slime shot, max out our, our... Okay, good, good, cleanses. We like cleanses. Honestly, yeah, healing wave time. Good. Fire is good against all of these, which is nice. Ah, man, I wish I had the, the fire mass attack. Everyone's vaguely debuffed. I think we get we, we can afford to focus in now. Is anyone... Okay. We'll spread the fire love. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. The Nightwing's going to take itself out at this rate. That does hurt, though. That does hurt. As does that. How many debuffs are we rocking? Okay. I think it's time you put a little shield up. Okay. Everyone is now on fire. We will focus back in on the Grummy. Oh, that damage over time is beautiful. Okay. One down. That hurts, but it's hopefully... Oh! Mm, okay, that's... that's. How are we alive? How are we alive? Okay, um... Restoring shield, life wave, and then we'll, I guess, just ignite. Healing wave, whatever it's called. Great. Okay. Thunderstorm is super effective. If so it would be that or, or voltage against anyone. I'll thunderstorm and hope that it takes out some of that regeneration stack. I got one. That's not terrible. Damage over time is still doing well. All right, hang in there, Gaze. Hang in there. Ow. Okay, we're fine. We're still alive, somehow. Just keep shield, just keep shielding, keep healing. keep hitting them with the thunderstorm to keep their buffs down and keep them debuffed which in turn reduces their damage output the grummy is basically down the druid oak has really not done anything particularly shocking aside from a considerable amount of damage output on that armor uh, that um acid rain I won't I won't diss it but like, it could be doing worse. Okay. 
a straight heal and a, a healing wave are the same amount, so we're just going to healing wave. Okay, and then Thunderstorm. Damage over time should take out the first two. Okay, close on the Druid Oak, not done. Oh, they, now finally you use a different move. More regen, charming. Oh, they have Firestorm. I want that. It would have made this fight much faster. Okay. New friend. Acid Rain right away. Healing Wave. With the power of Toad, you shall fight on. Alright, that's at least the Oak down. Not the Frosty yet. New buffs. That's fine. We can fight buffs. We have two cleanse monsters here. Well, we might have one cle- Aw, oh, crud. Okay, we have one cleanse monster here. Alright, now we go for the throat. Now we have enough mana for a Shocking Slash, so we'll use that as our finisher. Do you guys need Safe Cast? No, you don't really need Safe Cast. Alright. I guess we'll just go tackle at the center one. At the mini tour. And then Shocking Slash across all of them, which should kill. Yeah, there we go. Great, I'll take some charge stacks. I, I'm no complaints there. All right, what do they have on debuffs? There is an armor break opportunity here. We'll go arcane bolts to reduce further debuffs. And I guess mud cannon. Yeah. Mud Cannon. I can take Voltage. Lore is fine with that. Okay. Poison. Poison. We'll tackle. And then we'll use Falchon as finisher on the Mad Eye. Which is still not enough. That resistance to, to debuff, to, uh, to damage over time, is not helping us here. I mean, we have the fight. I just want to wrap it up. Is anyone dealing with weakness? Yes, several of us. But I have no guarantee that I'll hit that with a Restoring Shield. So I think we just we just go for it. Should be Oh yeah, that's 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 plenty. And then we throw the toad and we'll just wear down the mini tar. Oh, you can't even take out Falshan. Ha! The power of friendship and teamwork and RNG, all that good stuff. All right. Cut him down. Fantastic. Okay. You defeated my monster team. I can see you did a good job raising your monsters. I got a skill potion. That's right, I'm wearing my new outfit. Hey, look at that. Shiny. Okay. Eon. Sheltered seems like it'll be real good. As does combo shielding. We'll go combo shielding first, since you are not usually the one who's in on the edge of death. It's usually gaze. Okay, so Eon's gonna give us the mass attack with water. So gaze. We'll, we'll get Firestorm next. What is it? 
Yes, Hex. Hex is the passive I was thinking about. Okay, well, I mean, that went well, but it doesn't make me feel any better about our prospects. Um, let's go to the blacksmith and upgrade our equipment. Hi. Hello, Keeper Seeker. The Stronghold has taken note of your progress. Congratulations. You are now entitled to purchase goods from the Stronghold's special material so stocks. Since these are valuable resources, they're not available to anyone. As you rise in rank, you will gain access to more and more materials. Another incentive to go out there and hunt down more champion monsters. Neat. Okay. This is actually definitely a worthy expenditure of our money. Let's go see what our upgrades are right now. Um, for the various gold so yeah the brooch we want more mana so let's upgrade the brooch bronze I don't have any of that I have all of this don't have any of that I'm not using this currently but I can upgrade it to plus three This I can upgrade. And the medallion. What am I missing? Can I buy bronze from you? Nope. Copper. Upgrade the harp. And again. All right, the drum. The drum needs a green gem. I can buy that. Bronze, which I can't get. Gems I can't get. Bronze, steel, gems I can't get. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. It's fine, got a few upgrades in the bag. Uh, the library is up here. So let's go talk to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, I've just been thinking about some things. It feels so strange not to have my spectral familiar around anymore. Your familiar won't be gone for very long, Will. We're on to the alchemists. Don't forget what I told you. They attack one of us, they attack all of us. Thank you. It means a lot to me to know that you and Ashley will help me. Hey, my name! Man, she wasn't kidding she would spread that fast. That's awesome. And I still have my other monsters as well. Just because I don't have my spectral familiar anymore doesn't mean I stop being a monster keeper. I just know that my spectral wolf would want me to continue as a keeper. So I will continue traveling the sanctuary and searching for more hints about the alchemist. Sounds good, Will. We wish you good luck for your travels. I did find some information in one of the books, though. So around 300 years ago, the ancient order of alchemists came to the sanctuary after they were banished everywhere else. They somehow managed to break through, the, break through the sanctuary's magical barrier and entered the sanctuary. Eventually, they revealed themselves to the monster keepers. The leader of the alchemists, Marduk, made a grand speech trying to appeal to the keepers. He spoke of pushing back against those that had pushed them all into the sanctuary. With the combined power of the sanctuary and the alchemists, they would be able to conquer the old world. However, most of the keepers were unwilling to start a war against the old world. As the current Keeper Master put it, the Sanctuary was all that they needed and there was no reason for bloodshed. They allowed the Alchemists to stay regardless, which was a mistake. The Alchemists were bitter and angry about the fact that they were constrained to live in the Monster Sanctuary. In times of old, they used to practice their craft for the kings of the Old World, earning plenty of riches and fame for their order. The alchemists plotted a conspiracy, gathered monster keepers around them that aligned with their worldviews. In their view, monsters were nothing but a tool to be used to regain the power they once had in the old world. Luckily, the alchemists got caught before they could spring their plan into action. The keepers believed that they had put an end to the ancient order of alchemists. However, the leader of the alchemists, Marduk, was never found. There were rumors that Marduk had found a way to gain immortality for himself. So perhaps he is still around somewhere in the sanctuary. It says that he always wore a devil mask. That's all I could find. Perhaps if we find more alchemists, we could gain more information from them. Huh. Huh. Will found out some pretty interesting stuff about the alchemists and their leader, Marduk. That information will likely be very useful to us later. For now, we should follow up on those goblin troubles in ancient woods. 
be on the lookout for bands of goblins in the ancient woods. Supposedly there's a king in charge of them. There has to be a reason for their unruly behavior. Okay, yes, but also Julia has that covered, and I don't want to go, like, fight territorial disputes when I could go investigate much more interesting things. So... I'm gonna be irresponsible. I mean, not entirely irresponsible. It's, there's a, it's, it's got, I've got a reason. I'm doing a good thing here. I'm trying to help my friend. I'm gonna go talk to the Frozen Oracle. And see what they have to say. Hi, folks. You're weak to wind, aren't you? No, Earth. I don't have an Earth mass attack. That's fine. How much damage do I do? <laughs> do a lot of damage okay um yeah this is brutal the power of being ridiculously over leveled for any given area We'll just, we'll firestorm it. I could definitely have done that better and gotten it in one turn, but oh well. Toad. Five stars, woo woo. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, donate any eggs. Oh, well. I will next time I go back. Come on, let's go. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I am better than this. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, I can fight. It's a quick, it'll be a quick one. All right, acid rain. Tackle. Firestorm. Yep. Easy two rounds. Physical attacks against gaze. You fool! Alright, arm break there. Tackle. I guess it might be three rounds after all. That's all right. Oh, or not. Scratch that. The power of proliferate. All those extra hits for applying debuffs is great. Five stars again. Equipment, nice. And food. When we loot food, I feel a little bit like we're beating up monsters and taking their lunch money. Ah, back to this wonderful soundtrack. Right. Further into the frozen peak than we have ever gone. Hello there. Who are you? Okay. We want lamp. We want floor and we want gaze. I will safe cast. I will ignite. Next turn, I will um, sustain, and we'll just keep using Firestorm as our, our finisher, because massive damage, and lots of nice shielding. Ooh, ooh, that's a new move. That is a mass attack, ice mass attack. That is a magical ice single target attack that deals a considerable amount of damage. All right, we sustain. We toad. And 
And then we set everyone on fire. Fantastic. Got this in the bag. Ouch. Oops, that was fun. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Uh, all right. Healing wave for maximum healthiness. Ignite just to guarantee that we are all in the range of Firestorm and then Firestorm to finish the job. Skadoosh. All right, three turns, not bad, four stars. And we got the egg, which is always what matters. Let's check out our new friend. Mogwai. Ah, I'm forgetting off the top of my head the mythology for this little fella. Uh, but I know this one is based on it. Uh, the Mogwai are... They're... Okay. Aha! They are... Demons. Uh, that reproduce during the rain. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. We're going to call you one of the concepts you derive from. We're gonna call you Mara. All right, Mara, what do you bring to the table? Snowball toss, water physical, uh, severe hit. Okay, so we're dealing with another single hit base monster here. Critical defense, also crit, precision. Yeah, that to be expected. Avalanche is a boosted crit attack. Critical liquid. Single strike. If this monster is the last and only monster during the turn to attack. Oh, that's interesting. So if your first two monsters both use defensive or support moves. Huh. Attack powered shield. Sure strike. So you're a hybrid. You have both physical and magical. First impact. No surprise. Shatter to boost your krill and crit. And then you have ice storm. Multi chill. Nice. Magic penetration. All right, then we have a buff tree. With recover and protector, the buff is magnitude, barrier, and glory. And then helping hand. Buffing restore, buffing heal, bounty, combo buffing, multi glory, buffing shield. Very nice. Uh, and then a physical tree with beating that branches off into spectral cannon. So I guess neutral tree would be more accurate. Fascinating. Crit damage focus, critical hybridization. Yeah, okay, you are very interesting. So basically crit damage is everything here, both for the actual crits and also for, yeah, okay. All right, so because of the crits, I think we go avalanche as our mass attack which is a shame because then we won't have anything that does chill. But I think that's okay. We can run chill on somebody else, I guess. Oh wait, no, ice bolt applies chill. Never mind, we're fine on chill. Okay. So yeah, let's let's uh let's go for avalanche ice bolt. Ice bolt gives us first impact. Snowball toss gets us to avalanche which will also give precision. Severe hit, I like. Um, and then over here, beating for critical hybridization. And we're on our way to critical consistency. Attack proc isn't bad. Procs are always good. Uh, I'll get multi-chill. I 
I'll get critical defense. Uh, and we'll get crit damage focus. Okay. Unfortunately, I think everything here is going to resist water. And also, there's not really... You don't really combo with anything on my team. So I, I won't... You'll, you'll stay in the, in the back burner for now. But that's not to say you don't have a future here. Uh, let's get upgraded slime shot so we can get armor shred. I'd really like to have that. Alright. What is... Huh, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Oh! <laughs> just falls from the sky onto a blob. Good thing I hit something soft to cushion my fall. <laughs> um, resistant to water. One's resistant to wind. We'll do Kelpian Gaze. Just try and max debuff them into the ground. Sustain. Apprentice. Firestorm. Hopefully we can get some burn on it. Oh, three burns! Gorgeous! Lots of shield then. That's gonna hurt. Could have been worse. That will be worse. It was worse. Okay. Now we just go for fire damage. You can... I don't know, slime volley them, I guess. Poison isn't a bad thing. Yeah, okay. So our fire damage will for sure carry us through this uh, this region. This is quite uh, swift. All right. Nice, we got some bronze. We'll be able to upgrade more of our stuff. So, what does this do? Okay, not that one. This one, uh, not that one. Did I press it twice by accident? Okay, let's try this again. Great, okay. And this for sure can be broken. Yeah, there we go. Hi. Wool. That's good. It's cold here. I could have done that better. And I intend to. Yes! Nice! Upgraded materials. Okay, nothing up there. I'll try not to uh, halo drop onto any more enemies. Alright, so I pressed, I, I hit that switch, right? I guess I didn't. Question now is which of those did that open? The top one, fabulous. All right, I drop down here, get this. Oh, what can you do? Snowball toss. Oh, a new a new ice orb ability. That's nice. Oh, and it got this one. Sweet. That wall is not breakable. What about this one? No? Okay. This one? I'm a threat to caves everywhere. Hang on. Not th there we go. I need flight to make up for my limited parkour ability. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. I just noticed the background. Very pretty. Okay, so I can't quite get up there yet. Wow, look at the forest leading up to the, the peaks. Very nice. What's down here? 
belt. Now I can hold up my tunic. Interesting. Okay, so there's a path up. I can go down here, get some corn. Come out today and buy some corn. Oop! I can fall into a crevasse. Okay. More Mogwai. You. 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 All right. We'll buff up and then we'll firestorm. And hopefully get some burns for shielding. Yeah, one. Not great, but at least it's a little little damage averted. And we have regen to help. Man, these things hit like a truck. A very cold truck with antlers. Alright. Share the love, make sure everyone's on fire. And poisoned for good measure. I mean, can't hurt. Oh, nice. Okay, how much do we do on the damage over time? Oh, just barely short of lethal on all of them. That hurts. Don't know. Boo. Bullying. So I shall bully in return. Burn. Burn, strange ice demons. I got a smoke bomb. You know, I really haven't explored my items at all. I should take a look at these. I've hatched everything here. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, I do have another skill potion. I can still use that on Eon, so I will definitely do that. And a reward box. With an extra katana. Nice. Crystal shard. So I have, a, I have the ability to teleport. I can level people up. I can level gaze up. I will do that. Food, obviously. Okay, so here's where we get to combat consumables. This is where I can do my own magic. I can heal them. I can heal them all. I can heal one of them. Uh, smoke bomb for retreating. I can clear debuffs. I can revive. That's probably the one that I'm most likely to use. I have 23 small potions. Truth is, most of my monsters, they're abilities are just better than those but we'll see if there's an opportunity or a cause to use them okay ah i might get overcast no i, I said i was going to get sheltered i'll get sheltered for more tank potential yeah dominance for sure lore 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 what do you want you can have combo buffing and probably mana overload next. Belshan. Um, mana generator. Regenerate four mana for every hit this monster receives. Ooh, yes please. All right. Forward into the snow. Can I break this? Nope. Well, this seems hazardous. There's treasure at the end of it, so. Whoa. Almost slipped off there. Ooh, it's so pretty. Ooh, what's back down here? Oh, I found another cave. Whoa. Ooh, that's a breakable wall. One of the gems I was looking for, for my equipment. Nice. Crystals. Interesting. 
I'm sorry for continuing to smack every wall I can see, but I'm always convinced there are secrets. They give lore a concussion, if immortal spirits can get concussions. Um. Huh. I guess this water is too cold, so I can't swim in it, and Lore can't, I mean, well, Lore probably still can help me breathe in it, but I don't think it's, you know, it's obviously not to my benefit. Okay, so we'll leave there. Woo, hello, you're new. Caraglow, weak to water. Uh, um, okay. Then I guess it's you guys. All right, well, I guess we'll just start with Acid Rain. Oh, I forgot. Obviously, I have safe cast. I should always start with the buffs, folks. Do as, do as I say, not as I do when it comes to playing this game. All right. Firestorm isn't bad. It's better than Thunderstorm, so it's what we'll use. Nice, nice. Riot. Oh, they play with the, the little ball they're carrying. Adorable animations. Okay. Acid rain over here. Okay. Bubble burst is super effective, but tackle does even more damage, so we'll tackle. And it added poison, which was nice. And then continue the firestorm. Okay, the Mogwai's done. Never mind, the Caraglow can also heal. Ouch. Ooh, that is half of my health. All right. We'll put armor break on the final person who has yet to receive armor break. We will tackle this cat. And then we will hope against hope that Firestorm can make... I don't know if this is going to do enough. Oh, okay, almost enough. Enough on two of them. This Caraglow will clean up its own buffs, but that is no problem. It is too late. You're going down, my friend and hopefully becoming one of my new companions. Only the best, only the best for this party. Yeah, all right. Caraglow egg. Hi, all right. We are going to name you after uh, one of my, my uh, fellow streamers, cats. Um, Justify is cat. Gal. I think I'm. I think I'm spelling that right. Uh, I could be wrong. But I mean, I guess he'll tell me if I am. Either way, welcome to the party, Gal. What do? You, what can you do? Claws. Evasion, so crits, crit, another crit based for sure. You also have Bite, which is a physical attack that heals yourself. Interesting. And Life Steal. You are a cute little vampire feline, aren't you? Auto Heal, Critical Mass, Critical Hybridization, lots of stuff we've seen before. Um, magic Proc, Attack Proc, Hybrid Shield. And then a healing tree with critical healing. So you are just, you're just crit, crit all the time. You have heal, healing wave, and helping hand. I wonder, does helping hand count as a buff action or a healing action or both? It's an interesting question. Someone in the chat, feel free to tell me. You also have a restore tree with combo healing and revive. Do, do we, have we, have we had anyone with revive yet? Um, able to resurrect a defeated monster. 
concealed. During its first round, this monster has an additional 25% chance to dodge enemy hits while it sits up on top of, like, a, um, a cabinet or something and waits to smack the hat off your head. Mana upkeep. Healing Link. Whenever another monster in your party is healed, this monster has a chance to get healed by the same amount. Then you have your buff tree with glory into riot, and then also full utility. Mentor, whenever this monster uses a single target skill on an ally, they gain buffs. Mass Protector. Maneki, critical hits have a 30% chance to grant glory to a random ally. Anti-Cascade, reduces enemy damage for each consecutive hit. And Empower, you are an exceedingly interesting support. I'm curious about something. There you are. You are, yes, you're okay, you're a mage. You're a beast mage. I was wondering. I thought you might be. You're a mage too, Mogwai. They're cuties. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's, let's spend some skills. Uh, I like focusing in on mentor, which actually means... I might do a um, single target buff action for the first time. Just because it seems fun. Channel regen, sidekick, glory, and barrier. Doesn't do might, but obviously I'm using a lot of mages anyway, so I don't know how much use I would get out of that. Um, so yeah, okay, let's go for healing link. Honestly, I think restore is more useful to me than revive. The only time I've really had a challenge was in... Uh, keeper a keeper battle so yeah we'll stick to restore um and then the question is do i go for like helping no i won't go for helping hand because i have full utility so it's between heal and healing wave and of the two Heal is the one that will trigger Mentor, so I guess... Ah, but then Restore. Restore goes up to... 7 times 120 plus 25 versus 8 times 130 plus 25. Honestly, they occupy the same... Same role. The heal is slightly better, but I think I go for Diversity and take Healing Wave. Critical Boon, Critical Healing. I'll take evasion. Claws. Glory. Riot. Full utility. Lots more to get. But that is fine. Again, not exactly synergizing with the team, so... We'll hold you off for a little while. Buffing shield. But who knows? Maybe we'll have, we'll have cause to introduce you to the party soon. Okay, this is for sure something I can break. Ooh, it's dark. Do I have anyone who can light up the darkness? I sure do. Welcome to the party. Okay, so I have to do this without flight. Or in the dark. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Ah, I'm pressing it too late. Underestimating the hitbox of these spikes. Ah! Woo! Wait, come back. Come back. I need you, Carap. I need you, gal. Skill potion. I'll save that one. It's nice that I can finally see in the dark, though. There have been a few rooms that it would have been nice to have this a little earlier on. But we have it now. Thanks, gal. Oh, I've already been that way. All right. So where is this mysterious frozen oracle? She's at the bottom of a lake, right? Hello. Oh, something's up there. Let's see if I can fight my way to it. Do to do, fire, water, fire. This will do fine. Okay. 
Acid Rain on the middle one. I forgot I had Safe Cast again. Safe Cast for combo. Always start with the buffs. And then we Firestorm. Riot, which we saw, Glory and Might. So that's crit chance and physical damage. Unfortunately for this poor Caraglow, both of those blobs use exclusively magic attacks, so it's not going to be of much service. Uh, we'll, we'll continue the Acid Rain train. The Acid Rain train. Um, single target. Tackle. Okay. And then Firestorm. Some burns should take the, yeah, good work on the damage over time. The first one has still managed to avoid any damage over time hits. All right, we're eliminating the Caraglow. No healers, no healers in this house. Okay, acid rain on the last one. How close are we on? I think Firestorm is just going to do it. So I'm actually going to... I think I put a tackle into this one. Because the first one has poison on it. So now when I Firestorm, the damage over time might be enough. Especially if I also get burned, which I did. Okay, we're done. Nicely done, everyone. Vital Ring and an extra Ice Blob Egg hurt. Eon, what do you get? You probably get an upgraded... Actually, no, we can get Overcast now, because we're not having any trouble on mana. So, we'll just increase all your effectiveness of everything you do. I can't help it. If I see a wall, I just have to punch it. Whoop. Nice. Can I get through here? Nope. Okay. Nothing up there to see. Oh! Decaying platforms. Interesting. I don't think we've seen that before. This is a breakable wall. Woo. Okay, I've reached solid ground. Hello, you're new. I'll be with you in a second. This, we can let Mara do. Oh, that's a fun little angle on the snowball toss. And I'll try this wall, even though I'm certain it's not. Yeah, okay. All right, new friend. What's up? Water and wind. But only magical water and wind. Intriguing. Or maybe it's neutral if you attack with uh, physical water and wind. And also fire. Honestly... This setup is fine. I can swap in Kelpie for Eon. Oh, come on. I was really interested to see the new monster. T freaking Tanuki. Cheating me out of seeing a cool monster. That's fine. You'll, I'm sure you'll be easier than whatever it was. And once again, I have forgotten the buffs. Firestorm. Now that I've gotten dominance into play, uh, the debuffs become more important than ever because every debuffs means more damage that the target is taking. That was painful, but could have been much worse. So, let's get Acid Rain onto this one.
We'll slime volley all of them for poison. Oh, yes. Got them all. And then Firestorm. All right, that's one down. You were really focusing on Kelpie for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Now we go for the Tanuki directly and we'll allow our collateral damage to take out the other. Thunderstorm. Broaden our portfolio a little and Whirlwind directly. That's one down and the other will go down easily. Piece of cake. You can cast the final spell, Gaze. And we got another Tanuki egg for back home. Fabulous. Man, we're getting pretty far here. The Frozen Peaks is, turns out, a large area, because we haven't even gotten to the Oracle yet. And there are uh, uh, several branching off points that we, we weren't able to travel down. Okay, surely both of these are not Tanukis. Thank goodness. All right. What are you called? Crystal Snails. Very nice to meet you. All right. Start with Apprentice. Thunderstorm will be our finisher. So let's put Acid Rain on the Mogwai. Two debuffs, you can do better than that. Oh, okay, they have Protect. Oh, that's a lot of Protect, actually. And that is a move I have not seen before, Jewel Blast. Looked like it was magical, because it dealt a lot of damage to Gaze. Okay, we need Armor Break on this first one now for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can break I actually know. We're going to go for debuffs. We have dominance. We want everyone to be debuffed. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're, we're doing a lot of damage on the single target front, so we can wear them down pretty quickly, I think, if we, if we need to switch over to that. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, their crystals grow when they attack. I didn't notice that the first time. Gemstone Rain. Ugh. Jewel Ice Blast continues to do ridiculous amounts of damage. Okay. Only one of them is lacking Acid Rain, but it has Protect, so I'm not going to be able to hit it anyway. Oh well. We might as well resolve the Protect. Okay. I think we can take out both of them, then. Yeah, okay. So that's both Snails down, and we can switch to Fire, and burn right through the Mogwai. Do we even need combo? Okay, so we do need some combo. Alright. Combo it up, folks. Should be an easy finisher. Ta da Fabulous. All right, so now we can go investigate what's waiting for us up here. Not a breakable wall. Ooh, hello. What are you? I can't get through there. Um... Yeah, I don't think I have anyone. Yeah, okay, fine. Whoop. 
Come on, I can make this without a flyer, right? Yeah. Oh, I just pointed it the wrong way. Spray this way. More gems. More crystals. Oh, I, I must be inside one of the mountains now. What's up here? Hello! Hi! You're a goofy looking fella. They want melee damage. That's a pr <laughs> that's a problem for this party. Um Okay. We'll go on the shock route, I guess then. Yeah, you're going to resist literally everything I do. So my entire job here is just going to be get shock on you so that I can get the payoff. Yay, beautifully done. Perfect. No notes. Yep, shocking slash. Nice. Oh, look at all of that shock. Fabulous. They just, they just jump, their tongues just waggle around as they attack. They're hilarious and I love them. Okay. So now we want to go for variety of debuff. So let's, let's get Acid Rain on this one that has the most health and also the most shocks to proc. Uh, and then we will tackle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's doing a considerable amount of damage. We can Shocking Slash again, which will proc all of the everything. Nice. Okay. In the bag. We'll probably have Lore heal just to improve our health rating because I really want one of these. Not for the party so much as for another purpose that will become momentarily clear. Or rather, will become clear momentarily. All right, slash away. That one's done. The other one should survive, unfortunately, and will take us one more round. Sword it into submission, Falshan. Four? Did we get? Ah, oh, dang. Okay, no dice. Ooh. Mass antidote, nice. What's up here? Death. Death is up there. What if I go higher? Still death. Okay, we're going the other way. Ooh. Oh, let me guess. You need... Yeah, you can't hit this. You need the mogwai. This is a very cool concept. Yeah, see, even, even you know, the same... Uh, like, explorability in different forms, it can be used different ways. This is this is a very elegant game. I, lo I love it. In case that was not already abundantly clear. We missed a turn off, and I want to be careful. We missed several, in fact. So let me, let me just really quickly check what's down here. Oh, well that's extremely useful. We found our teleporter. Hi. Hail, Keeper Seeker Ashley. Beautiful lake, isn't it? They say the frozen oracle resides in a cave beneath the icy water. Oh, heck, we found the oracle. She only reveals herself to the brave and the worthy. Neat. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. But actually, hang on. Am I brave and worthy? Whoa, watch out. Don't step too close to the water. You might fall in. I don't have to tell you that it's deadly to take a swim in the icy water, right? No, it's okay. I have Avalon. Or, uh, you know, my magical familiar heals all of my lethal wounds from when I face plant on spikes and stuff. It's great. It's great. You should try it sometime. Unless you've got some mighty warm clothes on you, but they don't look like it. And they are too warm. I specifically changed into this outfit to come here. If you do want to explore the frozen lake, you should get some protection against the cold. I heard there's a legendary clothes maker who can outfit you with something that allows you to swim in the icy water as long as you like. 
clothing made from a beast's hide, and magma pillar silk, I believe, and she can make it only when a full moon shines down on the mountaintop. This seems needlessly complicated, and as an aspiring occultist, I am so here for it. This is my shit. I should mention, though, that she lives near the top of the eastern mountain of Snowy Peaks. Easiest way to get there? If you climb up the mountain, you just pass through. There's a long bridge leading directly to the mountain where the clothes maker lives. I wish you good luck scaling the mountains. Always watch your step. So that's where we were just about to go. So I can't make that jump. Yeah, okay. Oh, there was a cool looking uh, giant mini tour there. I guess that's a... Uh, experience for future us. Ooh. Parkour. Actually input the bus buttons elsewhere, please. What's this way? Oh, hello. Who are you? Why, hello there. Lady Stasis. You come at just the right time to ex assist me with my experiment. A scientific breakthrough of unparalleled proportions. Oh, forgive me. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lady Stasis, a leading scholar in the field of monster science. I also specialize in cryomancy. You'll see that both of these things are relevant to the experiment I'm aiming to conduct. Keeper Seeker, have you ever heard of the monster species known as Shockhopper? I have not. Of course not. We're talking about a species that has been extinct for more than 400 years. Anyway, it's my current scientific pursuit to reintroduce the Shockhopper to the world. All I've had to do is single out a possible genetic relative of the Shockhopper. After many experiments, I've managed to do so. The only problem is that all I have of that other monster species is a couple of feathers. Do you understand my conundrum? I can't recreate a long extinct monster from a feather, just as I can't create a monster from thin air. I might be able to, however, if I had an egg of that monster. By using cryomancy together with what I've discovered about the Shockhopper genes, I could shock freeze the related monster's egg and imprint it with the extinct monster's genetic profile. Uh, that is... This is science? Sounds logical, doesn't it? No, no it doesn't. So all I need is an egg of the related monster, which is called Dodo. The Dodo can be found on Horizon Beach, which is at the very eastern edge of the sanctuary, beyond the ancient woods. I believe that you need a swimming monster to get there, though. The entire monster science community would be thankful to you if you brought me a Dodo egg. Is that a thing? Is there Are there other monster scientists? You're the first one I've met. Of course, I'd let you keep the transformed egg. It'd be quite a rare monster to have. Okay, so if I want the Shockhopper, which sounds like a cool, very cool monster, I will say. We have to go to the opposite end of the sanctuary, past the ancient woods here, somewhere into this void. Um, I guess we'll just, we'll, we'll save that as a, a project for later. I think, uh, if I talk to Lore, yeah, so there's still some extinct species. There it is. So, I have the note still sitting around. Oh, hang on. Skills, skills. Gaze. All right, so gaze. Are we going for a mass earth attack or the single target? Honestly, I think the mass attacks are almost always going to be better. <sighs> what do we have down this tree anyway? Cascade, occult control, that's important. Demotivate. You're at level 16. I might just start saving... Hmm. Armor Crush, I still want. I'll start saving my skill points for you. Kelpie, on the other hand, you've got lots to spend for. Armor Shred. Okay, so we're still... Before we, you know, head all the way across the, the uh... Sanctuary... No arm tail? Sad. Um, and back into... I mean, they said we need a swimming monster, which we also definitely don't have. Okay, so nothing up there. Something up here, however. I could have done that better. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna guess if I fall down there, I die, so let's not. Hey, both of the monsters that I want, but I don't think I got any of. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's try and do better on this fight so we can capture them. Right, physical damage. That thing that I for sure do not have. Um, and the crystal snail is resistant to physical damage. So I need water and wind and whatever physical I can provide. Okay, I think it's Gaze, Lore, and Falshan again. Safe cast. Just to keep our, our rating up. Thunderstorm for shock and for combo. Good, good. And then, yeah, shocking slash. Okay, see, see, that's good, that's good. That has promise. They're going for lore, which is fine. That's less fine, leave gaze alone. Gaze is weak and fragile. Okay, you're gonna resist whatever I throw at you, so I need to be, I, I think Thunderstorm is the correct one because that actually does work against the snail and it still has the prospect to put up shock. Red cannon, tackle is good. I'll tackle. And then I can still Shocking Slash, or I could Lightning Slash the first one and try and rely on the triggers. Let's see if that works. It definitely did not work. That's my bad, okay. No wait, don't don't taunt against Falshan. I have, I want charge stacks. Oh dear. Well, I appreciate the effort, Lore. All right, this should be lethal on that middle one. Really? Okay, that's fine. This should be lethal on the first one. <laughs> and if it isn't, both of them will go down. Yeah, there we go. The middle one should go down. To shock. And does poison finish this one? It does not. So much for a good score, oh well. Well, voltage to finish it off. Yeah, I don't think we're getting an egg out of- Oh, four stars, maybe? Yes! Fabulous. All right. Welcome to the party, you strange dinosaur, kangaroo, bizarro ice creature. Question is, what shall we call you? Ironically, we could call you Silver. Orum Tail, obviously meaning Gold Tail, and it possessing abilities related to gold. Yeah, we're going. We're going with Silver. Hi ho. All right, let's get Falshan Protector. That's nice. You have taunt somewhere here, right? Surely. No? No taunt? Dang. Oh, it's it's uh magnetize, right? Yeah, that's that's the equivalent. That's fine. Uh okay. Silver. So here's the joke I was making. Uh Orum Tail has gold sense. Um well half the joke. Which we will definitely Money's not bad. Glitter for each instance of gold sense. Every monster deals and receives deals more damage, receives less. So this is this tree is just gold sense the tree, which is fun. I mean, wonder potion. Now that's cool. That would be an that would be a justification to use potions more to that they also remove debuffs and add tons of buffs. That's really fun. Uh, there's the shielding tree. With copy shield. Arcane shield is nice and would be good for my party. And then shield burst. So this is a finisher that we haven't seen. Um, but basically it turns shield into a massive amount of damage that can't crit but still, you know, is a huge, huge hit. Um, this tree is wind. 
We have Double Impact, Transfusion, and then we have the choice between Whirlwind and Gale. Um, Gemstone Rain, Earth Magical Damage, and then Soul Bean, which is Magical Damage that also does Regen. Combo Buffing, Heal Mastery. Two instances of Overcast, two instances of Mana Proc. Honestly, you're so different and odd that I kind of want to include you in the party. But I'm not really sure who to swap you with. Uh, let's get the gold sense tree. Might as well. Every shield has a chance to apply a random buff. Which is nice. Um... interesting choice between the two. I think Arcane Shield because it's the only buff that you have but shielding all means that more chances for augmented shielding. Six on one, three on all. And I think we go normal. Normal shield. And applying a buff, also heal the target. You're an interesting combination of all the support stuff. So we'll just take all the support stuff. We can get mana upkeep later. Um, you only have one option for mass attack, so this will be it. We'll get double impact. Um, let's see. The question is, who would you swap for? The answer is Falshan, uh, as our wind focus, and honestly, I'd rather not. So I guess we'll leave you out of the party for now. However, we are going to be using you and this is the other half of the silver joke which is that Aurum Tail's ability is that you can ride them around and jump higher and stuff and go faster which is awesome uh, let's see let's see what they're like in the monster journal what is that what is that creature I love it a curious mix of reptilian and canine physiology. Its primary diet consists of mana. Hmm. All right, well. We. Now we have a way to uh, accelerate our travel across the sanctuary. What's up here? Okay, I can't reach that yet. Can I reach that? Yes. Ugh, but I have to be fast. Okay. Oh, it's when I hit it that first time. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, we got it. We did it. We did it. I make this. I can. Scepter. Mana plus 30, mana regeneration plus 5. That is a nice tool for any of our, our mage characters. Okay, so I, I always have to check. Ooh, look at that. See those pink outlines. Uh, we need a different explore ability that we don't have in order to travel those. So, we'll be back here someday in the distant future. Hello! More Aurum Tail. And Caraglow. Alright, then this is... Oh, I didn't include any physical damage. I guess we'll be using Tackle against the Aurum Tail. But first, save cast. Then, I guess Acid Rain on the Aurum Tail, I think, because that's, that one's going to be the hardest for us to take down. These do equal, so we'll go for the one that has damage over time. Alright, they're buffing up. Nothing we can't handle. 
That hurt a little more, but still, we're fine. All right. We continue to acid rain. We'll hit the one that didn't get any fire last time. This time we will use Thunderstorm instead to try and put shock on them. To mostly fail to put shock on them. Tackle the arm tail. We will end up using silver in the party if we ever feel like we really need to grind money. I've never found that like money was particularly sparse in this game, but if the opportunity or the necessity rather presents itself, then I have no issues with it. Nice. Alright. Two of them have fire, one of them has shock, so we'll be using thunderstorm again. Tackle. We can bubble. Tackle is the best one. Tackle this one. Okay. Damage over time. Good. I was hoping it would take out the third one too, but it didn't, which means this will take a little bit longer, but not notably. We can replace the armor break. We can do more armor break. Um. Do either you neither of you have damage over time currently? Um All right, then I guess we go for the first one and we hope for proliferate triggers. We did not get any proliferate triggers. We'll tackle. We'll hope for poison. Okay, we got poison at least, so that one's down. Just hit healed. No, no big deal. Acid rain our way through the rest of its health. There we go. Okay. Job done. No, apparently not. How is... What? These cats are proving to be a little bit more difficult to deal with than I expected. Okay. But we got it. And we got another skill point for lore. We're still going tackle on this tree. Honestly, we are very close to pausing skill point expenditure until we get hit level 20. I am tempted to go here just to get Tidal Wave. Having a mass attack would be really nice, and this is the only option we have for it. And it's physical, which is something our party lacks, so yeah, okay, we'll work towards mass attack. All right, we'll work towards Tidal Wave. We can get Cascade, too, since Tackle hits a number of times. All right. Our quest continues. Aha! The bridge. We were promised a bridge. A, a long bridge. And boy, did it deliver. Wow. They're still going down. They're still bowing. Oh, oh, we're starting to move up. Get close to the other end. Wow, okay. So yeah, uh, weren't kidding about the um, the length of that rope bridge. That was a little odyssey. All right, what's on the eastern mountain here? What can we find? You are an enormous. You are a, a megatar. Okay, that's an appropriate counterpart to the minitar. Wow. All right. What shall we do with all of you? Let's safe cast first. Because I have no idea what to expect. Fire is super effective against you, so I'm not terribly worried about taking you down. I will acid rain the Caraglow. As usual, target the supports first. The rest shall fall. Okay, wind would be super effective. But fire is damage over time, so I will start with that. Three burns. Perfection. Okay, they're buffed. They're going to be dealing more damage. And we have protect on the Caraglow. That is frustrating. Okay, the Megator has cold punches. We'll Acid Rain, the Protector. 
Nice, fully cleansed. Um, bubble Burst is super effective. Yeah, okay. We'll Bubble Burst to clear the Protect. And then we will Thunderstorm to get Shocks out. Okay, okay. All right, this is this is fine. This is going well. Knock on wood. Can throw rocks also. It's only one without uh, armor break now, right? So let's make sure he has it too. They don't all have shock yet, though, so it's thunderstorm. Nice. Ooh, look at that damage. Okay, and then I think we just tackle the first one and we rely on damage over time. I don't think that's the right idea, but with any luck. Yes, okay, beautiful, beautiful. Do I have fatal upkeep yet? Because if not, that was just awesome. All right, burn. Wonderful. Five stars. We got a Minotaur egg. So that means we don't actually have to beat the um, champion fight with five stars in order to get that egg, which is awesome. Hello, my friend. What shall we call you? Well, we could call you Minos or Pasiphae or Daedalus or Ariadne to take any of the people in that myth. We could take Theseus, but he's a jerk. Um, we could make reference to the labyrinth or to the thread. I don't really know what your abilities are. It's been a while since we fought you. Um, let's call you Twine. We won't take direct names. All right, so Gaze, do you have Fatal Upkeep yet? You don't. It's there. Okay, so our uh, our damage over time is going to increase even further at that point. Eon, upgrade your Acid Rain. It's all you've been using. Kelpie. Center of Mass will boost Slime Volley. And only Slime Volley, but to be fair, I've been using that a bunch, so we'll take it. Lamp. Lamp, lamp, lamp. Lamp, you can start improving your number of hits, I guess. Or the number of monsters you actually get that on. So then I can get meditation. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Um, and Twine. What are, okay, Twine, what are you up to? Heavy punch. Single hit physical damage or freezing punches, multiple physical water damage. Brawler, when exploiting an enemy's weakness with an attack, gain might and shield self. First impact. Bleed. So some payoff for crit. Much more payoff, payoff for crit over here with slash. Shocking hit. If a single hit deals a bunch, you can shock and debuff. Weaponry. Increases the stats gained from weapons by 25% for allied warriors. Counterattack. When getting attacked, hit the count hit the attacker for one hit times 200% attack. Can't be dodged as 20% increased critical chance. I love that. That I'm building around that. I'm I'm building everything around that. That's super neat. Uh, and then we have stone rain, so you can throw rocks. First impact again, crit damage focus like the Mogwai. Uh, weakening crush. Physical hits have a chance to apply weakness. You're very cool. Okay. Barrier, sustain, 
full offense. Hunt, improved assault and situational support. So yeah, there's a payoff for using a single um, buff action in combat. And then you have heroism and heroic defense. Might, sorcery, and glory. Honestly, I think you go um, full offense. Yeah. You full offense yourself. At the start of the fight, you get Im situational support. Improved assault boosts you for the rest of the fight. Uh, our physical attack will be slash. And then our uh, water, uh, we'll use freezing punches uh, as this for this tree. Stone rain for this tree, obviously. Two levels of protector seems like it would make a party pretty tanky. So I'm, I'm down for that. And I guess I'll finish upgrading slash. So this is a fun thing. I mean, look at all of these monsters, and most of them we're not using because they're not part of our core concept for the run, for our, our main, you know, synergies. This is why I'm excited to get this game onto the channel, because, I mean, the, the opportunities for future runs seem endless to me. Not even, not, you know, not even mentioning, like, adding in the Bravelock rules or the randomizer rules, etc., etc. Lots of potential. Skill resetter. We're doing okay, but we might end up wanting some of those soon, I guess. Okay. So I assume if we fall down there, we fall to our deaths. But I don't know, uh, and that makes me want to test it out. <laughs> So, we'll go investigate over here first. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. Ah, uh, nope. That one's falling to the death for sure. Got it. Uh, nope, nope, goodbye. Alright, that's fine. Nope, nope, oh, do, oh, do, 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 do. Sorry, I keep forcing Lore to resurrect me and heal my fatal wounds. Okay, so you are up there. I think I can get to that. Here we go. Ooh, just barely. Fantastic. Nothing up there. Oh, whoops. Fell out of the room. Okay, so now we continue forward. Hopefully we meet we find this lady's house soon. I say right as we walk up to her house. Fantastic. What is in here? Hello! Clothes maker. Ha! What a surprise. A visitor! Hello. Get warm by the fire. I'll make some tea for you. Oh, I have an even better idea. You came to me because you want to swim in the icy water, yes. You should probably swim in a lake that won't freeze you to your bones, but I can already see you're a stubborn one. I know better than to argue with some young know-it-all. Lady, I came to ask for your help and you're just insulting me. Like, this seems unnecessary. I'll make some warm underwear for you, yes. Oh, that's, that's your choice of clothing? Trust me, this will keep you warm even when you're at the bottom of the frozen lake. It's true what you heard. I make it from a beast's hide and magma pillar silk but I can make warm underwear even when there isn't a full moon. Oh, that's a shame. I was kind of excited for the ceremonial aspect. Just bring me some raw hide. You can get it from those friendly megators outside, or maybe you'll prefer if it's made from a different type of beast. Just bring me any raw hide, no matter what monster it came from, I will manage. Maybe you can even find some raw hide just lying around somewhere. There are so many treasure chests around here. Good luck. If you ever get too cold, there will always be a warm fire for you here. You are simultaneously one of the rudest and nicest people I've met in the sanctuary. I don't know how to process that. That is also death. This too is Malsumis. Okay, so just to confirm. I don't have raw hide. Yeah, okay. What's down here? Oh, she mentioned the Megator, and there they are. 
I guess I have to fight them and take their skin? That's weird. All right, let's do it. I need predominantly fire, so we're gonna lamp, kelpie, and gaze. Lamp, sustain. Kelpie, apprentice. And gaze, finish us off with firestorm. Now that is some debuffing. Well done. Okay, doing okay. Didn't even break through the shields. Speaking of shields, let's get a few more of those. How's everyone doing on fire? Everyone is on fire, but you could be more on fire. Equal we'll slime volley for poison, even though it's not super effective, but it is a new debuff. And that means more damage taken and more less damage dealt. Oh, I should have I should have run Thunderstorm once just to get shock out there. That's all right. Okay. I think we just continue with Ignite. Most of you did not get poisoned, so let's fix that. Or not. And we'll do Thunderstorm for the extra debuff. Yes, beautiful. Now you all can die to damage over time. Ah, oh, oh, that was almost so elegant. Oh well. Easy closer with Ignite. Marvelous. Five stars? Rawhide, right off the bat. <laughs> Fabulous. Wait, but now there's more to explore. I, I can go back to her in a minute. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I am, I should be in a hurry, uh, but I'm not. Strawberry. Oh, I found the edge of the mountain again. Hmm. Am I stupid enough? I for sure am. Oh, got it. Ha <laughs> ha. What about up here? Nope. Okay, there's definitely nothing up there. There is something down here. Another level badge. And this is death. Nothing. Nothing. Down we go. Okay, I'm getting further away from the lady's house. I think I, I should actually go back and give her the raw hide. Assuming I can get up there. Yeah, okay. Hello. Hello, how's it going? You found some rawhide, and now you want me to make warm underwear for you, yes? All right, just wait a moment. All right, I hope you like it. I made it specially for you. Lady, please don't make it weird. Warm underwear. Stay as long as you like, or you can go and test out your new warm underwear by diving into some icy water. Just don't forget to visit me every now and then, all right? Are you, try are you trying to seduce me? I'm not saying I'm opposed, I'm just, you know, we should be we should be clear about our expectations. I'll be back. All right. Um, let's investigate this down before we investigate that down. Okay, so we could choose to fall, or we could continue exploring up this part of it. Wool. Not unuseful. Whoa, dear. Okay. 
Whoa. I am spelunking out of control. <laughs> okay. So this is how you go back down to where we were before, but I would rather not. I can I can make this. Because there is still more to see up here. If I can make the jump, I can perch back. <laughs> there we go. This wall is breakable. My map tells me so. Okay. Who can trigger water in this party? Okay, we did it. Got our wizard hat. Never mind. Oh no, we're falling back down. Beautiful. Oh, we got another raw hide. I guess that has purpose beyond uh, making underwear. go okay interesting that seems close to where we were I'm being very careful as we proceed down this mountain in an attempt to not um, fall and have to trek all the way back up to finish exploring it I guess that's what, here, now that we know it's below here, we can, aha, I knew it, there was something there. Thank goodness I have this airborne gremlin creature. This bizarre homunculus. More level badges is nice, but I don't really have any new monsters I want to add to the party right now. Be careful not to fall. Okay, and then we du duck down here, and there's a looks like there's a lot to explore, so I'll just check these walls real fast. Some people have conspiracy theories about vaccines and conspiracy theories about cell towers. I have conspiracy theories about walls. There are alcoves hidden in all of them, somewhere. All right, we need water, we need fire, and we need physical damage. Eon Gaze Falchion. Put the water there. The fire everywhere. <laughs> and then we'll focus the shock, the wind, on the Orum Tail, who is weak to it. Or rather, who is weak to physical damage. It just so happens that my wind is also physical. Okay. Ow. And now we can start spreading the acid rain. I can spare a turn to put shock on everyone. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. And then get some payoff for that. Fantastic. Healers! 
At least it didn't take away any of my shock. Man, those rocks look like they hurt. Are you doing okay, Eon? You doing? You hanging in there? Okay, there's no more. Okay, so I can now replenish the uh, the armor break over here. Everyone has shock now. At least two, so I can go back to Firestorm and for the mini tour. And also for getting burn on more of them. Okay, and then we, we are unfortunately unable to shocking slash again. Our mana is too low, but we can kill the Orum Tail and trigger all of the shocks on the others. So that's nice. And then the damage over time does a lot. Yeah, that's not enough healing to save you. I'll just Firestorm. And I might kill with this. I did not kill with this. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll do it to myself. Okay. A little bit of magic to finish this off. And there we go. Another verdant gem. We are really harvesting all of these gems and stuff we were looking for earlier. Okay, so that's what's up there. I can get that. Uh, if I do that, much better. Yeah, like that. Okay, and I assume this is just fall to your death territory. So I will be careful. Uh, ooh, interesting. There's no way to look below me to see if there's safe landing. Okay, that's in... I'm going to fall. Oh, but I'm still here. And I can swim in this water now. Cool. An extra orb. Can't hurt. This is a... switch. Question is, what does it do? What has changed? What might I now access that before was forbidden to me? Okay, that is, yep. I'm pressing this. I wonder if it temporarily opens this and then you can press the switch for it. I don't know. Because so when I leave here, it's going to become undepressed. Yeah. That's odd. Oh, well. Gal, can you light up the path for us? Oh, we're going to have to do this without light. That's okay. All right. Illuminate the next section. Okay. Jump, jump, fly, but not far. Okay, made it. Woo! That felt nerve-wracking. Question is, can we get back? Ow. Okay, not without flying, which means... After I got lucky and did all of those on my first try the first time, I'm going to botch them all the second time. Okay. Made it. Fantastic. That could have gone much worse. All right, so now how do we get back? Oh, actually, that would have been faster. We go, we go down. Up here. And then we drop down through here. And open this. Amazing, we have now reconvened with 
an earlier part of the map. And with that, I mean, that's most of the frozen peaks explored. Uh, I see one, there are, I remember there were a couple diamond blocks we couldn't move that opened places up to the, um, the over to the west. And then there was that one way down. Actually, I think we can do that one way down now because it was water, it was cold water. So if we, if I miss input and probably die on the spikes, yep. If we head down into this cave, I think we should be able to check out a new area. Yeah, because now we can swim under here. Open that. Whoa, okay. New areas, right, hello. Hi, welcome Spectral Keeper. I assume that it is your first time in the Sun Palace. I think I saw this place briefly um, on the other side, from the other side, but I, I couldn't get through the gates. What you see before you is a perfectly organized, self-maintaining biotope. Uh, that's a word, I think. When the monster sanctuary was created, each of the four spectral familiars contributed to the sanctuary in a different way. The power of the wolf created the forests and mountains. Good honor. The power of the toad created all the bodies of water. The power of the lion created the stronghold and all the other stone buildings of the sanctuary. Lastly, we come to the eagle's contribution, a miniature sun that grants light and warmth to the sun palace. It's suspended at the top of the sun palace. Most keepers don't know, however, that the miniature sun's purposes go even further. The sun palace is meant to be a place of balance, an underground temple filled with sunlight. See, that doesn't seem like balance, that just seems like a complete inversion of the natural order. But who am I to argue with ancient elemental spirits? An entire world that is in peace within itself, an ideal to strive within, the strive toward within the sanctuary, as well as within yourself. Okay, actually, I'm sorry for being flippant. That's a very nice sentiment. But it is in danger. The sun's light has been behaving strangely, and I believe that someone's been tampering with it. If the balance of the sun palace is destroyed, the entire sanctuary could be plagued with catastrophes like floods, storms, and earthquakes. I hope you as, the, as a spectral keeper understand the severity and urgency of the situation. Dude, I have like three severe urgent situations I'm trying to deal with right now. Surely there are higher ranked keepers that can help with this stuff. Meet me in the center of the sun palace to save the eagle's sun. Ah. Ah. Dang it. Oh, hi. Hi, um, I, I have to go, I have to go meet the Oracle. I'm gonna go meet the Oracle. I'm trying to finish, finish what I started. Instead of being dragged off in a million directions. I mean, there's a whole goblin rebellion going on in the ancient woods that I have yet to deal with. Even though, you know, everyone out there are so many competent people. Why am I the one who has to deal with everything? Ah, water and fire. Water and fire. Okay. Sustain. Acid rain. and Firestorm. Well, I got one burn. Could have done worse. Could have done a lot better, obviously. Um, all right, ignite, set them all on fire. I said rain this one. Firestorm again. All right, should get lots of shield from the fire. Just heal, not restore. Restore. Yeah, there's the restore. Restore is much more frustrating to me. It undoes all my hard work, debuffing you into oblivion. Fortunately, I can remedy it fairly quickly. Okay, 
You're the only one without armor. Oh no, the other one doesn't have armor break now. Should have put it on that one. Oh well. Finish the fight with Firestorm. Ah, oh, you survived. You are a pain in the neck. But you should cease being a pain in the neck approximately now. Alright. Oh, they look so... I feel so badly for them. Their, their receiving damage sprite is sad. More skills. I guess we upgrade protect. Okay, we've already been here. We've already done all this. Let's get back on shoot track and go meet the Oracle before we go deal with any of the other crises that are abounding. Everything is going wrong here at the same time, which I, I guess I should probably probably interpret as the alchemists at work come to think of it oh i don't have a snail yet must acquire snail okay acid rain on the snail Bubble Burst is super effective. Oh, I safe cast. Right, right, right. Okay. I can focus the snail, or I can focus the, the blobs. I'll, I'll start with the fire. For the usual reasons. Okay, protect. That's fine. My main attack is a mass attack. Or an MTA, multi-target attack, as the game calls them. Don't kill my damage dealer, please. Okay. Armor break. I guess we just... Yeah, burn the protect. Take a chunk out of the shield. Uh, and then I think... Th thunderstorm to add more debuffs for more damage or not not hit any debuffs at all come on the sheer number of procs you have surely on the bright side the front one is definitely dead to damage over time so we can focus the latter two i guess we'll get poison there You can single target voltage. Yeah. Voltage the middle one. We want that thing down. Okay. Bubble burst will kill it. And damage over time will kill the first blob, which means the latter one is our only remaining problem. Probably could have killed Gaze there. I appreciate that you didn't, but still. Now we just do fire damage. And earth damage, I guess. Whatever works. Down it goes. I, did I really still not get one? Alright, here we go. More battles until we get the stinking snail egg. Water and wind. This time I only have one fire, so still Gaze. Gaze is still our damage dealer. I think it's Kelpie, Lore, and Gaze. Um, so we debuff, I mean we buff ourselves. Save cast and Apprentice. And then, yeah, just thunderstorm good some shock some shock also good for keeping our weakest party member from taking damage okay now uh, they all have poison so I don't even need to do slime volley I can skip directly to whirlwind
Bubble Burst is also notably effective. So we'll use that too. And we will thun finish her Thunderstorm. Hit them all. Okay, next turn I think I can Fireball. Because I think they're low enough that damage over time, especially if I can land burns on them, should be enough. Okay, that hurt, but not very much. Yeah, honestly, I think I just go focus the Mogwai now. As many hits as possible. And let's see if the fire can take them all out. All right, Gaze, Firestorm. Exceptionally well done. Exceptionally well done. All right. Five stars. Come on. Seriously? How do I get this sn stupid snail egg? Leash. All right. Well, problem for future us. For now... I, just, I can't get up there. All right. Oh, this is a block. Oh, so I need to push this block. Hang on. Actually, first, wall. Nope, okay. Block. Definitely block. Okay. Man, I cannot wait until we have a swimming monster because mo maneuvering underwater is brutal. What's down here? Okay, underwater passage. Ooh, there are torches here. This is a cave where people go. I can't get down there. Okay. I see you've come to tread on the doorstep to oblivion, young keeper. Uh, pardon? Oh, hello. Uh, we found the oracle. You know of the dangers that lurk in the forlorn places of the sanctuary, and yet you seek them out. I've watched you as you traversed the snowy peaks, and even before that, Spectral Keeper Ashley. I think I remember visiting this place with one of your ancestors, Ashley, but I don't remember this strange apparition. In another life, I used to be called by a different name, but now I am known only as the Oracle of Snowy Peaks. She looks like a like a specter, like a, a she's she looks like a human that has the same Spe like ghostly fire aura as the specter. What are you exactly? Why do you haunt this place? I am a lost soul that wandered the oceans of the world for years beyond count. During my natural life, I had seen the world turn to darkness before my own eyes. When the sanctuary was created, it was as if a triumphant beacon lit up in the middle of a black sea. Hope returned to the world. My world could use a little bit of that. That is why I will always watch over the sanctuary, and if need be, I will intervene in the course of fate. The last time I revealed myself to a keeper was almost 300 years ago, when the sanctuary was in great danger. But we failed. The man who had turned himself into an undying devil escaped our grasp, and he still seeks to corrupt the sanctuary. You fought the last, the last time Marduk was active. With lies and sweet promises, he has turned several keepers over to his cause. I do not know how many have joined his ranks. Well, um, that one dude that we met who we didn't see his name, um, Valalar and Chimes, we know of three. Spectral Keeper Ashley, you've already shown great bravery on the path that led you here, but I need to be sure that you are the one that will save the sanctuary from this devil. Do you believe that you are ready to face the Oracle's challenge, Spectral Keeper? Well, I... Yeah, I guess I have to try. Come forth, noble beast. Test this keeper's spirit through combat. It's always combat. Ah, okay. Hello, Aklut. Shapeshifting uh, demon of the north. Wind is your weakness. So wind you shall have. We're gonna try and burn this down because I don't have a lot of sustain on this party. So, this is a matter of straight 
combat. We begin with Acid Rain. Oh, okay, that hurts. Wow, okay, maybe we were not prepared for this. Um, I want poison. Always want poison, so slime shot. We don't have shock yet, so I guess we go... Oh, but no, honestly, I need spore. Deal less damage, please, and thank you. Okay, continue the lightning slash. Good, poison is always good against bosses. Champions, sorry. The little blowhole magic thing is kind of a cool uh, stylistic thing for this monster. Uh, yeah, no, um, Kelpie is for sure going down. I don't know that. I don't know that we have this, guys. Okay, what do I have? I don't have burn. I don't have voltage. I'm going for burn. And we continue to lightning slash. Hang in there, one more, one more round. Come on, okay, okay. Okay, we're good. Um, do you have all of the buffs on you? Yes, you have all the buffs on you, so I can spend... Which, who does more damage? They do the same, okay, so. I'm going to use a... I'm gonna use a small, no, I'm gonna use a combo potion. Or should I use an antidote? Okay, we're gonna use a combo potion. We're going to heal. I'm gonna hit with whirlwind. And then we're going to Lightning Slash. And we're going to really hope that Falshan survives this next round so that we can potion them next. Hang in there, please. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um, I like the combo potion. Can't help it. Okay. Yeah, next we voltage the Aklut. Oh, I think we just landed chill on it. That's good. Uh, our mana is getting really low because of the multi-chill on us, but at least we can still hit. We're not yet reduced to using our basic attack. Okay, okay. powerful attack and it gives them sorcery but we're fully healed now even though we're struggling on mana we can drive up the combo pretty high here i don't know if we can finish it but i think we can yes Whoo! okay our first required use of in in battle items to to finish this off but with a, a few quick spells on my behalf to heal up my monsters, we made it through that okay. Whew. I had a brief moment of fear on that first Icicle Spear volley when it took out like a third of everyone's health. You have bested the Shaman Beast Aklut. You have proven your force of will as well as your bravery. I shall give you all the aid that I can and trust that you will use my gifts to save the sanctuary. The key lies hidden in the deepest point of the sanctuary. Once you have this key, you will know what to do. But to enter the deepest domain of the sanctuary, you will need to collect all of the sanctuary tokens that are hidden across the sanctuary. To find the sanctuary tokens, you will need to travel to the most remote corners of the sanctuary. I can give you only one of the sanctuary tokens. I know that there is another token in the Sun Palace, 
which lies west of the Blue Caves. That is all that I can tell you. Come back here any time if you wish to hear these things again. Go now. The fate of the Sanctuary depends on you. Wow, okay. Oops. Well, that was a little heavy. So it turns out we are not... We are 100% dealing with the return of Marduk and the supposedly evil um, alchemists. I'm not sure I can get up here. Yeah, I don't think I can. Um, hang on. Yeah, okay, so that's out of off limits to me for now. Well. Actually, hang on. If I go really fast, how's that? We. No? What about from down here? I know my jump height is increased. No, okay. That's fine. All right. We stand by this crystal. Uh, and I think that we will wrap up for today, actually. Um, so, I mean, we've, we've gone from being curious about the appearance of some strange people in the sanctuary to having a spectral familiar magically stolen, traversing these mountains, meeting the, a, a long dead ghost now become turned into a protector spirit. Uh, and discovering that we are now the chosen one to save the sanctuary, apparently. Uh, I'm going to guess that those sanctuary tokens we were given uh, unlock the door that, that Laura and I found in the Blue Caves really early on. Um, so I guess from here, she said the Sun Palace is the next place we need to go, or at least one of them. Which is good, because uh, there was apparently a crisis in the Sun Palace. So we'll head down there. Um, I Hopefully Julia's not been murdered by goblins yet, and we can still go help her eventually in the ancient woods. Uh, it's just It just seems like random territorial disputes are not that big of a deal in the face of something that could undo the sanctuary. But I guess we'll see. Maybe it is all connected. Anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I certainly had a good time, uh, and I am very much looking forward to getting back now that the plot is really ramping up and some serious stuff is happening. So, uh, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever it is where you are, uh, and we'll see you next time.